tell us a bit about your rationale for that lineage standard and that self-identity standard. It solves the problem um, Leader McConnell is raising, um, but it, I think folks would also argue it leaves quite a bit of people out. Well, if we estimate that there are approximately 45 million blacks living in the United States today, uh, if approximately 10% are folks who arrived after the passage of the civil rights legislation, there, there were very few uh, black immigrants to the United States prior to the passage of the civil rights legislation, probably less than 1% of, uh, of the black population in the United States. We're ultimately talking about 40 million people who would be eligible recipients for, uh, for reparations. So I, it's not clear that we're leaving a lot of people out, uh, but the people who are being left out are the folks who arrived here uh, long after the cumulative effects of federal policies on the determination of black wealth had been put into place. Uh, these are also individuals who do not share an ancestry that is linked to the newly emancipated who were denied the 40 acre land grants at the outset. Uh, that's what created the debt that's relevant to the problem or the case for reparations. Uh, and that debt is a debt that is owed to the individuals who are descendants of the persons who were formerly enslaved in the United States.